I just woke up in my sweats, my t-shirt. I have something fun planned today. I don't know if it's going to be fun or not, but we're going to see. I'm going to do not one, but two gallons of water today. And you may ask, why? Why two gallons? Like, a gallon's plenty, right? Well, I've been slacking on my gallon every day. So to make up for it, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I just think it would be a fun little challenge to do. But to make up for all the water that I missed, I'm going to drink two gallons by the end of today. And I'm going to walk you guys through my journey with this because it's going to be interesting. And I'll keep you updated on my gallons throughout the day. I'm going to do a little quick, quick check-in real quick. Um, that is after I had my eggs and ham. I'm officially four weeks out on Saturday, so shred time, crunch time, literally. But here's the gallons that I'm going to be drinking. Oh, and by the way, just to make this video a little bit more funny or entertaining, or maybe it's not going to be funny or entertaining to you, but to me, I'm going to record how many times I have to pee. So, gotta pee now. morning and I'm gonna go watch an episode of Grady's shower chug my water keep going and then I'm gonna hit the gym later so I will keep you guys updated on my gallon yay all right guys I just got out of the shower so I do Wash my hair. <laughs> I'm like halfway. Say hi, Lily. And I'm gonna go pee again for like the 30th time. <laughs> you guys send me questions for the Q&A that I am recording right now. It's going to be a very quick Q&A. My video is solely not based on this Q&A, but I thought that it'd be a little fun just to get to know about me a little bit more. Um, more than half of the questions that I got were personal questions, not fitness questions, but I'm going to go ahead and answer some of both. Rami the Kid on Snapchat wants to know where I am from. I currently live in Hagerstown, Maryland, which is the western part of Maryland, and I always lived here, so I have never moved outside of Hagerstown. I have moved out of where I grew up and into my own apartment, but I'm still in Hagerstown. My dream is to live either, I have three spots in mind. I want to live in Charlotte, North Carolina, Houston, Texas, or LA. This question comes from my friend Amanda from high school. Hey girl! Um, she wants to know, how did you know where to start when you started working out? So actually, this is a very good question. I didn't know where to start when I first started working out. I honestly would only go to the gym, and this was like high school. I'd only go to the gym if one of my friends wanted to go with me. And so like, I'd go with my friends, and we would end up just running or doing like a stair climber or something like that. I was never afraid to gain weight or to gain muscle. I've always wanted that because I've always been very small. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear Lincoln in the background, but it's like crying for some reason. I've always been very small, so I've always wanted to get bigger. So I wasn't scared of the weights in that aspect. I just wanted to make sure that I knew what I was doing. And I didn't want to look dumb in front of other lifters. Uh, so what I started doing was my friend Tiana, who I've worked with for, I don't know, two or three years now? Probably two years now. Um... She was really big into YouTube, so she kind of got me started on like the fitness channels, uh, the vloggers, and all that. And I would slowly watch more YouTube, and I would jot down notes on like certain lifts, especially like harder lifts, like deadlifting and squatting. Um, I just paid a lot of attention because, in my opinion, you can love fitness, but if you 
aren't doing your research, then I think you're loving fitness for the wrong reasons. I do research all the time, at least an hour a day. I'm looking at someone's YouTube, I'm Googling something, I'm on bodybuilding.com, I'm you know, figuring out macros for things. I'm taking the time to learn because I truly do care about the industry and I truly do care about my body and myself and my health. So, like I said, there's people that when they start working out, if they're not taking their time, if they're trying to jump right into things, then I just don't think they're doing it for the right reasons. Three places you've never been to but always wanted to go. This is from Meg's um, on Snapchat. Australia. Uh, Hawaii and California. I've never been to any of those. Angel Claire on Snapchat wants to know how many tattoos and piercings do you have and what are they? I have four piercings. They're my ears, I have my cartilage there, and then my nose. And then I have three tattoos. Uh, you guys probably see my one on my shoulder a lot on my Instagram if you follow me. That one just says fashion but it's a it's like a clothes hanger. It comes down and says fashion. Yeah, fashion was always my, like, my thing. And then I went to school for fashion for a year, and then I just truly, like, realized that fashion was more of a hobby. Like, I only was doing it when I wanted to do it, when I felt like doing it, not because I truly loved it. And then I found fitness, and I just, my whole world changed. So now I go to school for sports management. So what my plan is, I'll go off a tangent with that. Since I'm getting a sports management degree, which is a business degree, it's considered a business administration degree at my college, I will always have a backup. Uh, you know, when I get 50 years old and can't compete or lift anymore, or something happens to you one day and like something tragic happens and I just can't do what I love doing, then I'll have my business degree, which I think is great to fall back on. It goes along with Angel Claire's second question, if I want to play in gym. Hell to the yes, opening my own gym is my dream. I like, envision a gym much different than what everyone else is doing. Like, you know, you have like, your basic gyms like LA Fitness, Planet Fitness, stuff like that. Then you have like your CrossFit gyms, um, like your Gold's Gym uh, atmosphere. I want something that literally everyone can fall into. And I also want to have a gym on the beach. You know, like treadmills and stuff, like just in the sand. like. Or not even in the sand, but like, you know, where you can just watch the ocean. I just think that's great. So, I have a big vision for my gym. But I promise you, what I'm seeing in my head is not like what everyone else is doing. And even if it is, I'm not doing it because everyone else is doing it. I'm doing it because who doesn't want to own their own business? Like, that's just, that's awesome. Like, small business owners or big business owners, like, it's a lot harder than it looks. And so... That's just a goal of mine. How do you get through a heartbreak? <laughs> oh, love questions. Um, it's different for everyone, honestly. Uh, I can't say that I've 100% gotten through a heartbreak, but I know what it feels like. And my only advice to get through it is just remember who you are. Like, just stay true to who you are. Often in my life, and I'll be the first to admit this, is that I often lean on other people for comfort and, you know, security and stuff like that. And I've, I'm learning over time, but what you need to remember going through a heartbreak is that you were living before, you had a purpose before, you are living now, and you have a purpose now, if not even a bigger purpose as you're growing as a person. And don't ever let somebody, and I'm not going to say it's impossible to feel sad for a long time, because you will, but if somebody is completing your life, then I think something else is off. And I think that you need to search for yourself and find within, you know, what your purpose is. Because trust me, everyone has a reason why they're here. And everyone has a purpose and everyone does will, will or does great things. Natty Bo 2307 wants to know why I picked out Lincoln as my dog. In case you guys didn't know, this is Lincoln. Say hi, buddy. So... I rescued Lincoln probably about two months ago, or maybe it was like three months ago. It's like November, so yeah, about two and a half, three months ago. Um, put him down. Now he's getting heavy. So I make choices to go through rescues to get my pets. I also have another dog named Lily, so I'll give you guys a little background about that too. 
my philosophy in life is that I love giving people a second chance, or dogs a second chance, or whatever a second chance. Like, uh, things happen, terrible things happen to people or animals they have no control over. You know, some people do have control over it. So animals, well, animals are helpless, they can't really speak for themselves, but... Point is, second chances are important. So that's why I go through rescues, and that's why I got Lincoln. Um, Lincoln actually wasn't really in a bad situation. His mom was just in a high-kill shelter, um, and then they rescued her and found out that she was pregnant, so... He was born, and I just adopted him. Lily, my first dog, was in a little more of a sad situation. I won't go into the details, but um, she was born and locked in a barn for a very long time. I'm not going to end this Q&A on a sad note. Um, I feel like that's my personal way to go, just because I feel really good about it. Just like in fitness, whenever someone, you know, from binges or develops a really bad eating disorder, like, don't look at them like it's the end of the world. Like, lean on, like, give them a helping hand. Let them know they have a second chance. Um, that was just like a small example, but there's so many opportunities in the fitness world for second chances. We don't have to look down upon people that got it right the first time, I'm not saying that, but there are people out there that deserve a second chance. And animals are included in that, and that's why I go through rescue. I'm just going to wrap it up here because I don't want this to be a long video, and I don't want this to be solely a Q&A video, because I'm back to my two gallon challenge. And let me just tell you guys, it's going bad. Alright guys, this is really good. I really didn't tell. I added some of this on my tacos. It's a uh, cantina garlic. Mm. Alright, peaches, I'm at the gym. Four hours to get another gallon. Four hours. Oh, you were in there. You're fine. Ah. You're fine. Oh, okay. First gallon. Done. Took me long enough. I'm gonna try to get two. Probably not realistic, but maybe one and a half, so. And I've gone pee at the gym four times. It's really messy up my workout. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go tanning. Guys, can't do it. Got one. I feel like crap. I don't know if it's in that. Chugging all day or what? I just can't. It's like 9. It's like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. I'm the only ADA gets be up all night if I drink another gallon. Feel like crap. Make it stop.